Hello guys, so it's another wash day. You can see the state of my hair. This is very old, blown out, blow dried hair. Uh, help me. I'm gonna be the one to wash all this hair. So in true fashion, I tend to section off my hair. But in this wash day, I actually decide to wash my hair loose and you're gonna see that in a bit. Oh, brace yourself. So got my shower head and I'm just soaking my hair. And then I'm like, let me try something new. And as you can see here, I am unraveling my hair. I removed the clips and decided to wash my hair loose. If you ever decide to wash your hair loose, the trick is to ensure that the hair, your hair is running in the same direction because this can reduce the likelihood of knotting, breakage, damage, and all manner of things. So ensure that your hair is flowing in the right direction. I have low porosity hair, and you can probably see from this clip that the water is just literally sitting on my strands. Another hack when it comes to washing your hair that I'm gonna to share today is you may want to try and use warm water just to open up the hair cuticles and allow the water to actually penetrate if you have uh, penetrate your hair if you have low porosity strands so i'm using this shampoo that i can't pronounce the name of <laughs> it is a hispanic shampoo i've used it before i didn't mind it i had a bit of issue getting this to lather up the way i like i think i ended up putting shampoo on my hair like four different times it was a bit of a mare that might be because my hair really just refused to get wet and there's number four yep that was right four times i've put this on my hair it just wasn't working for me it's not to say it's not a good shampoo five times wow wow i really went od here it's just honestly a case of i have a lot of hair it's hard to get it to soak up liquids because it's low porosity so a way around that is to apply lukewarm to warm water when rinsing my hair then applying the shampoo so then now i'm rinsing the shampoo again you can see i'm working in the same direction i'm not having my hair all bunched up bunched up no because this will cause tangling matting and breakage and i don't have time for breakage because as you can see my hair has really grown which i'm so happy about and it will be quite devastating to have it break off so i'm trying to be careful she says hello <laughs> Yeah, so here we are just rinsing. Again, you can probably see the water beads on my hair. And then this is it. And I'm just talking here about how I have low porosity hair. Now it's time for deep conditioning using the same brand that I can't pronounce. I wish I spoke Spanish. I actually learned some Spanish many years ago and it's all gone, unfortunately. So, root to tip, tip to root. This is quite a quick wash day for me. Uh, I'm not as thorough and i just realized as i'm getting more older in my natural hair journey i don't need to be doing the most wash your hair put conditioner rinse it out put oil and cream and plait it up twist it up i'm just showing you my texture i am convinced now that i'm a 4b i will be having a video on 4b as always i tend to use a heated hooded steamer whatever i have on hand to ensure that the goodness from the deep conditioner penetrates my cuticles then i rinsed it out and then i'm drying it i tend to use a cotton wrapper as we call it cotton material and then i remove it and this is my hair and this is the end of the video i don't know what i did with the rest of the clips but this was a quick wash day i really hope you enjoyed this guys thank you so much for watching have a good day ray